everybody and welcome to the Louis Gaming episode 69. It's the 16th of October 2012 and the game in the background is World of Warcraft Mist of Pandaria. So, what have I been playing lately? Well, to be honest, I'm doing quite a lot of different things. I mean, I played a bit of Euphoria. I played... I almost finished it before, but then I needed to reinstall my computer and I managed to lose my save file, so I had to start over. Uh, also, I played a bit of StarCraft 2. No online uh, league stuff, just uh, the single player. I haven't completed it yet. And uh, I'm trying to complete it now because I last time that I had it installed, I just focused a bit. On online play and stuff and didn't really get to do anything which I wanted to do so I'm now catching up with that a bit and of course just some uh, little things here and there I mean I played a bit of faster than light really great game pretty hard to master if you ask me but there are worse things, of course, to uh, happen. And uh, I played a bit of... Um, what's it called again? The Testament of Sherlock Holmes. It was on uh, Steam sale this uh, last weekend. And... I have really wanted to play it for a little while. I mean, it's not out that long, as far as I know. But... I always like uh, a bit of riddles in games and stuff, although not that long, it's only since September 20th, but I, I like riddles a lot and these give me something to solve them, so. On to the gaming news. Guillermo del Toro is searching for a new studio for Insane. Uh, Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro, I'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong, make that butchering it, but uh, he's a movie director and he has uh, a, a horror game called Insane and he's uh, searching for a new developer. Uh, Insane is uh, supposed to be a trilogy and originally it uh, should be made by uh, Vol Volation which uh, is the same studio which made Saints Row but um, because uh, THQ which is the publisher is restructuring this didn't work out and he's searching for a new studio who wants to make it so um apparently at least according to uh, white games league of legends is one of the most played games as of right now um they made a few uh Really nice uh, st statistical uh, grabs in this, but uh, I'm not sure, quite sure how reliable it is. I mean, sure, it's it, it looks really good, uh, all those numbers, but whenever something like this come out and it's not from an independent source. I always say you have to take it a bit with a grain of salt. You don't need to take it too seriously because, be honest, sure they will have great numbers, but they will take the very, very best and ignore all the bad things if they can get away with it. And I don't blame them at all, but I would like to see numbers like these come from an independent party just 
to be a bit more sure that they are correct. Edwin Gmilarch has made a new stereo called uh, the Astronauts and uh, the studio is developing a game which should appear in 2013 uh, Gmilarch I really need to find somewhere where I can find these names how to pronounce them anyway but um, before this he worked at uh, the Gears of War Judgment developer People Can Fly and uh, he left it when Epic Games bought up the studio earlier this year uh, Astronauts has been founded together with two other People Can Fly uh, employees namely Andris Posnanski and Mikhail Kozirachki and they think it's strange that we can't pronounce their names anyway the first game will run on the Unreal Engine 3 but that's all that we know at the moment but uh, I myself am looking forward to the game because I'm quite sure it won't be bad might not be the best game but pretty sure, sure that the studio will do alright at the beginning of 2013 we will have uh, a new game called Dark Starkers Resurrection and it will be available as a downloadable game on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Uh, Resurrection will have uh, HD remakes of the arcade version of the ter second and third game from the Darkstalkers series, which are Night Warriors Darkstalkers Revenge and Darkstalkers 3 which uh, were originally released in 95 and 97 uh, they will also include online multiplayer and some other extras it will cost about 1200 Microsoft points or 15 euros Zombie Driver HD will appear next week on October 17 on Steam, Xbox Live Arcade and a number of Android machines. Um, a release for the PlayStation Network should follow real soon. Uh, Zombie Driver HD is an expanded version of uh, Zombie Driver, which appeared in 2009 on the PC. And uh, one of the things you need to do in the game is drive around in a zombie world and rescue other people and of course by killing other zombies uh, the expanded storyline in zombie driver HD will make uh, sure that you will have double the fun with at least two times uh, the playthrough hours hours needed for playthrough and you will get extra enemy, extra bosses, new vehicles and of course the graphics have been upgraded also. Fergo Gawa, who is uh, of Sony UK, has uh, told that he thinks it's ridiculous to uh, judge over the PlayStation Vita before it uh, has its first Christmas. Um, he's also saying that Sony would have liked it uh, if the Vita was running a bit better by now. But he's also saying that we should wait until after Christmas before we judge anything. Seeing as a few really good 
titles should come out for it in the next few months. And of course, the holidays are also always a big uh, thing for the sales figures. Mass Effect 3 will get the storyline downloadable content for Mass Effect 3 called Mega. And it will appear on October of November 27th. Um, Omega should be the biggest downloadable content until now for the game. And in the pack you will get the task to take back the space station Omega. I'm not quite sure what all is included in it, but it will cost about $15 to get the pack. As you might know, uh, the last few days some uh, images of uh, Halo 4 have appeared on the internet. And of course, these have been leaked, seeing as they shouldn't have appeared until uh, some time from now. As of right now, Microsoft has uh, told that they are working together with the police to find out who's been leaking all these images. So, um quite sure what they will find using this investigation I hope they find can find something I mean yeah I like to see stuff real early but uh, it can hurt the game if it some things are leaked too early so can really understand uh, why they are angry and developer United Front Games has uh, announced the first downloadable content pack for Sleeping Dogs. It will be called Nightmare in North Point and it will have a an Halloween theme. So it uh, should appear on October 30th. And um, seeing as it's Halloween you will have to deal with a number of zombies. Uh, next to zombies you will also have uh, Jiangxi, which are some form of Chinese vampires. So uh, if you're into this stuff in the original culture uh, of these undead and the vampires, then you will get a real kick out of this. Or if you just like to smash zombie zombies, then this should be fine too. Hawken, which is a free-to-play mech shooter, will uh, get a close beta from October 26th until October 29th. Uh, you can players can uh, subscribe them on the official website and. You will have a chance to enter the closed beta. And as of today, there should be the Xbox Music and Dashboard update on uh, the Xbox 360. Uh, the Xbox Music is a cloud streaming uh, music service. Uh, of course, next to the Xbox version, we will also have the Windows 8 version. And that will be released together with the OS. And for 10 euros, you can buy an Xbox Music Pass. And you can, can use it to listen to music on your Xbox 360, Windows Phone 8. 
but you have to be warned if you want to use the music on your Xbox 360 then you need to also have a Xbox Live Gold membership. The multiplayer from Metro Last Light has been cancelled. So, um, they wanted to make a multiplayer in the game, but they have uh, decided that uh, that the resources were better spent just focusing on the single player campaign. Um, this will mean that with the release we will have a single player campaign of course. But as of right now it's not known if we will uh, get a multiplayer mode after the release. So EA made a bit of a a blunder this week. Of this weekend I must say. They um they made a questionnaire and everyone who got it and who filled it in got a coupon for twenty dollars for uh, games which you can could buy through Origin. The only thing they did wrong was that the code could be entered infinite Diffy. So um, as a gamer you could download as much games as you wanted. So um, the code worked for every origin user in the United States and Canada and uh, soon after the first codes were released gamers put it on multiple websites and forums and that meant that a lot of people got free games. EA the only uh, noticed this after a few hours and they disabled the faulty coach. As of right now it's not known if EA will take back the games which were sold during the weekend or if you will be able to keep it. So I believe last month we got some uh, news about the Armour 3 developers who uh, got arrested for espionage in Greece. But uh, they seem to have a lot of bad luck, seeing as uh, the legal system is on strike in Greece. This will uh, mean that they will uh, be stuck at least until October 20th, because uh, then the strike will stop. So. They uh, were arrested on September 9th, but um, according to the Greek law, they uh, need to handle the case within 120 days. So this means they have about 4 months to do this. But um, apparently it will happen soon enough. So, if you are playing an illegal version of Halo 4, then um, it would be smart of you to stop playing it right now. Because um, if Microsoft catches you, then you will um, get a lifetime ban on Xbox Live. 
Of course, this is um, this is not that hard to uh, circumvent. But be honest, who wants to buy a new Xbox just to be able to get back online? Especially if you can get kicked off again a bit later. And the first patch with new content for Guild Wars 2 will appear on October 22nd. The patch will be called Shadow of the Mad King and it will have a Halloween theme. Uh, this will mean that uh, the game world of uh, Guild Wars 2 will be filled from October 22nd until October 31st with a Halloween team. This will mean different decorations, new mini games, dynamic events, etc. etc. And Call of Duty Elite will uh, become a free service as soon as Black Ops 2 will be released. Um, of course one of the things which Elite uh, managed was that you could get some downloadable content earlier than the rest. Um, this will still be the case but to get this you need to get a season pass. And uh, this will mean that you uh, can get a season pass for 4000 Microsoft points which um, saves you about 800 points if you would uh, buy every downloadable content pack loose. And uh, Steam Greenlight has announced 21 new titles which will be released uh, using their Greenlight uh, form. So they, uh, they uh, gave away some titles which uh, for some names of titles which they will release in the future. Of course, as of um, before this, there were 10 games which were greenlit before this, and only one of those was released. So, um, after these will be added, we will have 30 titles in the future which will be released on Steam. So, the 21 which are added will are Afterfall Insanity Extended Edition. Air Buccaneers, Blockscape, Contrast, Flying Folk, Tailforge, Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams, Gnomoria, Interstellar Marines, Lost Story The Last Days of Earth, Miasmata Minor Wars 2081, Neo Tokyo, Octodad Deadliest Catch, Perpetuum, Postal 2 Complete, Secrets of Quinn. Dea, The Intruder, The Stanley Parable HD Remix, and York Ventures. So, um, I believe last month. I um, I talked about Project Eternity in this segment. It was a Kickstarter. And um, until now, Double Fine Adventures was one of the best one in Kickstarters. But, um, and they, they managed to get 3.3 million dollars. But as of n right now, Project Eternity is even going to surpass that. They um, 
it, they will end tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure how long exactly, but uh, I'm guessing they have some five hours left or something, and they have more than 3.4 million as of right now. They um, even managed to get almost all of the stretch goals. The only goal they don't have yet is uh, 3.5 million in which you get a second major city. So this means that we can expect quite a lot of this one uh, project. So, um, we have some new rumors concerning Skyrim. Um, the new, uh, there is a new beta of the patch, the next patch is out. And apparently some people uh, found some uh, items in the patch. Which might be future content of the game. Uh, they have uh, different things which... Uh, announces the Dragonborn and there are some hints about riding a dragon which of course is always cool as long as it doesn't try to eat you at the same time they uh, the same files also called the island Solstheim which uh, is east of Skyrim and it will it has the same climate as Skyrim, Skyrim. And we visited earlier in the Morrowind expansion, Blood Moon. Moon. Uh, of course, we don't have any concrete announcements of Bethesda itself. But most of you also know that the expansion Dawnguard was leaked at exactly the same way. So um, we have a few new releases tomorrow and uh, the day after that. Not a lot for uh, Europe. I mean, we have only on uh, October 17th Series Sam 3 BFE for the Xbox 360 and the Unfinished Swan for the PlayStation 3. But we have a few more for um, America, namely. On October 17th, we have Series Sam 3, the BFE for the Xbox 360. We have Amen for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita. We have Zombie Driver HD for the PC and for the Xbox 360. We have Fairy Bloom Freesia for the PC and Ravaged for the PC. And on October 18th, we have Sparkle Snatch Snapshots 3D for Nintendo 3DS and Clumsy Cat for the iPhone. So, um, that was all for today. Uh, the episode is long enough without the segment, so I'll uh, leave it at that for today. Um, normally, I would be posting the links, but... Um, I'm really exhausted right now. I'm probably only going to be able to upload the video and not really do anything of the work I do after it. I might do it tomorrow, but I won't promise you anything. So, um, if you have any questions, you can send them to mail at healthwife.com uh, or you can leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll still be link posting uh, the video also on my blog. If you're watching on YouTube, you can find the link to the blog post in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.